Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope that everyone is doing well. Um, and it is currently Halloween, so happy Halloween everyone. I hope everyone had a really good time um, trick-or-treating. Um, or if you're trick-or-treating, is that a thing? I always, from where I am currently, I only ever trick-or-treating was on like the Thursday before Halloween. So I'm not sure if that's a thing in other places if people trigger I'm sure people trigger trick on Halloween. So yeah, I hope everyone though um you know had a great time doing that. Um and if you dressed up, that's really fun. And I hope that that was great and everything. Um but yeah today um I really wanted to make a do I like a redesign? Um like, so I got the idea to, like, redesign classic monsters, um, but make them, like, modern, uh, like, randomly, and I'm sure other people have done this before, but I just, like, really wanted to do my own take on it, and, um, and I was thinking about, like, you know, like, the classic monsters, like, Dracula, and Wolfman, and the Mummy, and, like, the Invisible Man, and all those, um, and originally I was gonna do more, <laughs> But this one ended up taking me way, way longer than I expected. This took me such a long time to do. Um, and I guess I didn't, I don't know. I just, I really took my time with it too. And so I ended up only doing this one. But I might do more in the future actually. Um, maybe this could be like a yearly thing. I don't know. So, but yeah, the one I decided to do though was Dracula. And um, yeah, this designing process was difficult i really struggled on this one i re like i had to sketch it out i sketched it multiple times and it was just not turning out and also as you can see originally i was going to have like um the full body sketch and then i was gonna originally do a close-up on the his face but I decided against that because I was running out of time and this was taking way longer than expected so I ended up only doing a full body which I'm actually happy with because I didn't really like how the sketch looked of the close-up anyway so yeah and it ended up as you could see using a reference for um on Pinterest for the pose because I was struggling so bad and then um but I'm actually really happy I used a reference because um it was like that pose was something I never would have thought of to do and I ended up changing um, where the arms were a little bit, actually, though. Um, and I think I showed more of his back, too. Which, again, I, like, never do that when I'm drawing. So this was actually a really good practice for me. And I'm really happy that I decided to do this pose instead of the one I was originally going to do. Because it wasn't nearly as dynamic or interesting. And I'm actually really, really happy with the pose, at least on this one. Um, also, I want to be very honest. I'm very... Um, I'm still very new to digital art. Um, I only recently, a couple months ago, got Procreate. Um, and this is like my only experience ever of doing digital art. So I'm still very new. <laughs> so bear with me, please, um, as I struggle through. <laughs> um, but I, again, also I used um, a reference to for like, I wanted to use like the classic even though this is a modern redesign, I wanted to take elements from classic Dracula, and this is one of the most um, like iconic photos of him. So I definitely used uh, that as referencing. Also for his color palette too, I really like like the purple pale skin, um, and I really wanted to do that. Also, any chance I can get of doing skin tones that are like random colors, I'm gonna take because I love doing um, like random colored skin tones. Of like really off colors um like purple that's like it's so much fun um and it's a lot more fun to like shade and stuff so i knew i had to try to i had to like any chance i can to do that i'm always gonna do um so yeah but yeah with uh procreate again i'm still very new and i'm also playing around with my style too with like digital art um because i really like the more painterly style um and I just like blending a lot and I don't really like using liner I've learned more recently I really like the more painterly look um 
I don't know, it's just a lot more satisfying to me. But I do want to play around more with line art. I just, every time I try to do it for some reason digitally, I don't like how it looks. So I really need to practice that more. Um, and come out, come up with a simpler style also for digital art because this stuff takes so long. Like this took such a long time to do. I don't even know how many hours I took uh, rendering this. And I, as I went though, I did, um, my process did get faster and I did get more comfortable with it. But it was, it took me a while <laughs> um, to fully understand. But the nice thing, I really, really like Procreate. And I think it's actually, if anyone's interested in digital art, um, I think it is actually a really, really good program to use when you're just starting out. Because I think it's actually very um, user-friendly. And like, especially for new people, it's extremely um, easy to understand. Um, I have definitely had to like look up little techniques and stuff, but that's the nice thing too, is you can easily look up tutorials and stuff like on YouTube, or if you have very specific questions, I've been able to find answers to, and I've learned so much in this short span of time. Um, but also yeah, Procreate is just so nice because it's very easy to understand. And I really, really appreciate that. Um, and it's not overly complicated or anything like that. So I've had a lot of fun with that and this was me just really trying um to figure out the planes of his face and where i wanted the lighting the lighting to be and whenever i started this i tried using a different brush because all the other stuff i've done digitally i usually only use like the gouache brush because i just really like how it looks i like blend i like the way it blends on this one that i started at first i started using the flat brush which i do really like but then i ended up um switching back over to the gouache um brush because i just really i don't know i like that one i like the way it blends and i've gotten really accustomed to it i guess also but um yeah something in his design i really wanted though was i really um wanted him because whenever i think of dracula i always think of like the more triangle shape um where he has broader shoulders and um more of a thinner waist and like thinner legs um so I was really trying to get that and also just very like angular features, like a very, very pointed nose, very long straight nose, very um, uh, thin face, very specific, a very structured face, very defined cheekbones. Um, I really tried to get that and just a lot of very hard angular edges um, that I really wanted to try to um convey in his design i really tried to again make sure that i had a lot of highlights that i put into this because that is something i like about that um picture of him is the way the light hits his face um just the eyes but also other parts are more shaded in which i kind of try to uh, emulate but I ended up making a lot more parts of his um, face uh, saturated and also his body. Another thing that I also really wanted to make sure that I conveyed in this was also that, um, again, I talked about this a little bit before, but his pose, um, I really wanted to be able to show his personality in his pose, um, and I'm actually really happy, and I think it actually really conveys it, because I have a very hard time with poses, um, and I tend to make them too stiff, and this is a problem I've always had. Um, where during the sketch process, it will turn out and f at first look very, um, like it will look fluid. And then as I get further into it, uh, especially once I add line art, it tends to get more rigid on accident. And I don't mean for that to happen, but it tends to. And luckily, in this one, I didn't lose that. And I think it's because I didn't end up doing line art. So I think it actually really helped. So it makes me wonder too, maybe in my process, 
more especially when i'm doing like more traditional stuff i feel like i should start uh doing line art after i color or later on um to help that from happening because i think the fluid the fluidity of the pose really shows here um but yeah no and i really wanted him to have a very um I imagine him having a very grandiose personality um and a very flamboyant like the way he moves i feel is very flamboyant and very uh grand and extroverted and i'm actually i'm really happy with um how the pose turned out and i really like it and again just the way that uh the pose is like structured is something that i would never come up with myself so i am really really happy that i um decided to use a reference um, some other stuff that I really wanted to include, um, I'm working now on some of his clothes and I was looking up references and I really wanted that gothic, um, look, but also, um, a mix of mod, cause again, this is a modern redesign, so I, you know, originally, I think Dracula's from like the 1700s, I'm pretty sure, um, or maybe that's wrong, the 1600s? I don't know. I though I wanted obviously I'm doing more modern stuff, but I like the idea of him wearing very form-fitting clothing. Um but also almost I almost went for more of an androgynous look though also. And also made sure to keep i made sure that the color palette was very very um limited i didn't want to add too much color to it um and i didn't want it to be too complicated honestly um i wanted it to be very simple and i didn't want to over complicate it too much um i do think i probably could have added a little bit more color to it but i'm actually happy um i think i do like how though how simple it looks um and i had to i was kind of debating whether or not i should do like completely black but i feel like i had i just i had to you know what i mean my boy just loves it he just loves being in his dark clothes and i can't blame him because same i also really like dark colors also and it looks good on him so you know what i also have i'm sorry i have a head cannon too that dracula like in modern time would be like oh i would never i would never shop at hot topic that man that that man has got a hot topic you can't tell him he has it he he would never admit it to anyone but he goes like after hours he goes into hot topic you know he could actually probably like literally steal oh my goodness i never thought about that you know he could like brainwash can wait sorry <laughs> i just realized if he like brainwash people into giving him stuff not brainwash, but like mind control. I think that's a possibility, actually. Anyway, he would do that though. He can like go into hot topic in like a trench coat and glasses and a hat so that no one recognized him. <laughs> like after hours. <laughs> Sorry, that's so funny to me. Um, but yeah. Anyway, anyway um, yeah. But um, I'm. I really like uh, the way the outfit turned out. Um, I definitely think too, though. You know, Dracula is very much a man out of his time so um i don't know i just love thinking about this type of stuff like i love thinking about vampires through the ages changing their outfits and looks and like thinking about how they would look in different times um but you know i imagine dracula being a pretty stylish person so yeah i was actually really thinking about two um like different personality traits that i think uh this more modern dracula would have and some of the things i think he and i think that he um you know obviously i do think he's a very materialistic person i think he likes having stuff i think he likes having expensive stuff um also this ended up turning out to be very like hipster esque which i didn't really mean to but honestly i think it kind of fits actually and i think dracula would be very much like a know-it-all like i feel like he thinks that he knows everything to be like man you need to slow down okay i feel like he would like very much be like someone that thinks that he's smarter than everyone else which i mean he is very old but like come on like you need to calm down 
<laughs> I also think he girl bosses his way through a lot of situations, let's be honest. Um, but again, you know, can't blame him though, you know? Honestly, go off, gang. Um, I also like the idea of him being like, I don't know, there's like hints. I feel like in this director on making his personality where you can tell that he's a man out of time because he kind of acts like an old man like he probably says his says like phrases and stuff that are like i feel like he's always kind of behind the curve like obviously he has to adapt to new situations and new the way the world is moving and changing and evolving throughout time he has to adapt to it but i always feel like he's just a tiny bit behind and i think that's funny also i like the idea of this dracula um just being very just he's just filthy rich my guy does not work has not worked a single day in his life he probably doesn't need to either though because he probably just figure out how to make money um and then also i kind of like the idea of this dracula um just being so done with people that like obviously he like probably doesn't give a sh i mean he probably doesn't care about killing people anymore he's probably just like you're done i can't i don't have time for you honestly I think it's kind of funny <laughs> but also I feel like he's just so tired of having to hunt people down that he probably like doesn't even like eat that much because he's probably so just done with the world and honestly I would probably be too let's be honest I don't blame him apologize for going on a little bit too long of a rant <laughs> but um something else i really made sure to include was i really wanted him to have a lot of jewelry on his body and little accessories so i included a lot of that um which was very fun i realized making this too that i like do not draw enough jewelry which i don't know why because it's a lot of fun and there's so many variety varieties of pieces of jewelry that you can do um and i should really incorporate incorporate more because i think it really adds a lot to character design um and characters in general oh and this is like so satisfying to me like adding um little highlights and stuff with the darker pieces was a lot of fun and it's really fun to look at <laughs> working on this also made me realize all the different types of jewelry there is and there's so much like really really cool because i was like also looking up for reference pieces of jewelry and there are so many really cool pieces of jewelry out there um that i didn't really even realize i'm not someone that wears a lot of jewelry personally um i like necklaces and stuff um but i don't usually tend to wear bracelets because they tend to bother me and i play with them but i want to get like bracelets like this like i saw ones like the ones i'm drawing currently where they like will connect to rings and i love how that looks i really want to wear more rings actually though too because i do really like rings and i gave him a whole bunch because i thought it was very fitting um and i really like how it looks and again it just really adds i think to the character so i'm really happy that i decided to do that and again, I didn't really do super, I didn't really want to add super flashy 
uh, stuff or color to the jewelry because I thought it would probably take away from him and his design. So I was very careful with uh, making sure that I did not do that. And I'm happy I didn't because I do think it would have... Uh, I think adding a whole bunch of like bling and stuff to jewelry I think would take away from his face. And um, that's something I really want to be careful about because I do think detail can really enhance stuff but also it can almost take away them sometimes from a design which I don't want it to do because I do whenever people are looking at this I want them to look at his face first and then notice all the little details afterwards and um, I did actually I decided to make his hair purple originally I was gonna do black but he already had so much black on his body and I did what kind of want to incorporate more purple um, the only other color I incorporated this was also red. I do add bits of red also later on, but um, yeah, I decided to add purple and the hair, I decided to make his hair long also because I don't know, I like I like the, the look of the longer hair, I guess. That's literally the reason why. <laughs> I don't have any other reason. I just like long hair um, and I kind of wanted to do a little bun looking kind of cute. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I ended up, I make his hair a lot darker, I think, than this, actually. And I had a lot of fun shading his hair. This was very fun. Um, and I like the style of it, actually. And I'm happy that I added little bangs also, little flyaways. I feel like I talk about this in every video, but the flyaways are so much fun to draw and paint. I would highly recommend doing it. I always kind of have a hard time, though, drawing this type of section of the hair and adding that in because I never know it looks like weirdly blocky to me and I still don't know if I'm happy with how the bottom of his hair turned out but I need to practice that more I'm realizing I went I made sure too to add little highlights um or the light sources rendering the hair and like adding all the little details was very very satisfying on this one too I really like, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I really like the little bun that I did, actually. I think it's really cute. I probably could have added more detail onto it and made it a little bit more realistic, but I'm actually happy, I think, with how it turned out in the end. I'm a sucker when it comes to drawing. I usually tend to, um gravitate more towards curlier or wavy hair um i think originally i was gonna make his hair straight but i like the texture of the curly hair but i should really practice drawing more straightened hair because i actually do like how that looks like just really really straight hair i should practice um drawing that more and i really need to practice actually more with um doing different types of hairstyles because i feel like i kind of do the same thing over and over again and i need to practice that better and experiment more with hairstyles and hair types. Something else I really learned too recently is you have to really make sure that whenever you're coloring or drawing hair that you make sure that the hair flows in the right direction. Um, because it can look really off and weird if it doesn't. Like, for example, this one, because, um, half of it is going back into a bun, um, you have to make sure that a lot of the strands of hair and stuff does, goes in that path and plays that way, because otherwise it wouldn't make sense, um, for it not to. But you know what? Sometimes you can just do whatever you want, you know? It's your freaking art piece. You don't have to make it look like that if you don't want to. You can do whatever you want. That's what's so good about art. I gave him little like um flyaway uh not bangs. Well I guess he does kinda have bangs. Um I meant to say like little uh like little pieces of hair were pulled out, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um because I just think it adds more uh I'm actually now thinking about this as a character work and it really doesn't really make sense that his hair is kind of messy but you know what I wanted to add it because I like how it looks because <laughs> I feel like Dracula would probably like want his hair to be perfect but you know what he was a little uh 
He was a little stressed out this day. Okay? No, maybe he just killed someone, actually. And so his hair got a little messed up. Okay? He's gonna fix it. It's fine. It's fine. I don't have to justify it. You can do whatever he wants. I decided to give him very, um... I guess the sideburns are actually a little bit thicker than they were originally gonna be. I wanted to give him very, uh, narrow, like, straight eyebrows. Very dark eyebrows, too. Um, I also, as you can see, decided to add piercings. Um, I wanted to add a whole bunch of piercings because I thought that would be very fitting. Um, and also I think it just adds more detail and is fun. I was also, like, I was looking up different types of piercings and I didn't even realize all the different types of piercings you can get. And it was really cool. And then I also decided to add the hat. And this makes, this is what makes it feel very hipster to me. Um... But I actually like it, so I don't care. It kind of has like a circus carnival vibe a little bit too, which I didn't mean to do, but again, I don't hate it actually. So I'm not gonna... I don't mind it. Also, I decided to add um, nail polish to his uh, fingers um, and his nails, and I'm... This was so much fun to do. I don't... I lo Every time I add... I love adding nail polish... And like nails to characters it's like super satisfying to me and i really like it and again it's just another little detail that i love adding thank you um so much everyone for if you're still here after literally just hearing me ramble on for like 20 minutes i apologize if you're still here <laughs> thank you and if you left i don't i won't blame you um but yeah thank you so much for listening to me um and i hope you guys um like this design if you don't understandable i won't be mad it's fine <laughs> if you have constructive criticism on it i'd really like to hear that or if anyone has any um if anyone has any uh advice to give me with digital art i would very much appreciate that because i'm still very new to it so that i'd be very grateful um but yeah thank you everyone so much for watching um please um like and subscribe if you liked this um i also have a tiktok and instagram so if you're interested in checking those out, I do a lot of process videos on those also. Um, you can check those out. Those will all be in the description below. And um, thank you so, so much everyone for watching. And have an amazing Halloween. And uh, goodbye.